Ah, God. Okay, so just threw up section like that. Hi guys, welcome to another hair video. I hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, as well as positive during this time. And I hope this video is gonna be a good distraction for you guys during this period of social isolation. So I've personally just been studying. I never actually realized how much work was involved in getting a master's, so it's been quite challenging for me. Yeah, so I thought this video would be a great distraction for me. I got to play with some makeup, get dressed up, and film this video as a break, and I'm hoping it's gonna be a great distraction for you as well. It's actually only been two weeks since I went from really dark highlighted hair to bleaching it three times in 24 hours. I actually documented this process as well in the form of a video. I can attach a link to that video uh, in the description if you're interested in watching it. So if the situation was different I would have gone to the salon to go from dark to light because that is a quite tedious and hard process but it is quite easy to go from light to dark and I already had the box dyes at home so I thought I would do this. what it looks like after the first bleach. This blew down my hair and this is what it looks like. Okay. So that's what it looks like. This is what my hair looks like dry. So I've just finished application number three. Okay, so I just washed my hair. So it's natural lighting and it looks pretty light. So this is the final result. I basically washed and toned The quality of my hair has been compromised, obviously. So I've been using um, coconut oil, what else? Yeah, I've been using coconut oil, some hair treatments, masks, as well as the Olaplex number no. 3 treatment. Um, and that has really helped. But yeah, it was always on my bucket list to just completely bleach my hair. So I thought I would do it now. But once I got there, I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling like myself. And I just really wanted to go back to dark. So basically, I went from really dark highlighted hair to this, this color. Like an ashy, ash blonde slash gray color. So I actually had these two boxes of hair dye lying at home. So it's a cool light brown color. So I just applied some virgin coconut oil all over my hair and scalp to protect it. So just putting on some gloves again. I just added the developer lotion and the color and just got... Just says you have to mix it up. So you just gotta mix it up. I have a feeling it's gonna get quite dark, this color, because it's meant to be like a cool ash brown color. First things first, I'm just gonna section my hair. Just gonna squeeze some product into my hands and I'm just gonna do it this way because it's easier for me. Yeah, I know this is not the best way to do it because the sections aren't uh, thin enough, but I don't really care what it looks like on the inside anyway, so I'll just make sure the top part is covered. So hot. Again. I actually attended boarding school for about like four years and they were really strict with what we could do to our hair like I had like the shortest haircut and we weren't allowed to dye it so as soon as I graduated high school I became obsessed with dyeing my hair and that's why I'm kind of addicted to dyeing my hair so the very first time that I ever dyed it was during uh, my school holidays uh, school summer holidays I visited my aunt and she was dyeing her hair so she gave my sister and I like a tiny bit of color to dye like one strand of hair so that was my first experience second section so doing this to your hair apparently helps spread it across evenly so I'm not quite sure what video I watched but um but this person on this video said that doing this motion helps spread out the color evenly and distributes it through the hair so the application is done what it looks like it wasn't as messy as I expected it to be but that's probably because I haven't saturated it well enough but anyway this should be fine for now I used two boxes and that's all the mess I made so that's not bad at all I'll just use some baby wipes and coconut oil to wipe that off I'll have to remember to wash my hair separately because last time when I box dyed my hair black the next time I had to wash my hair I got in the shower and it literally dyed all my body hair on my back so Got to remember to wash it separately, I'll leave it on for 45 minutes and then I'll wash it off and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. As expected, it is quite dark and I'm quite happy with it. Um, it does have some ashy tones to it as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was a good distraction for you guys. Try and stay positive during this time and thank you for watching. Bye.